Hi everyone, okay, so day number 24, so excited. Uh, so I woke up thinking that I would do um, something that was very simple. Um, and again, that's kind of been my theme, but for me, simple probably isn't real simple to some people, but this one I'm really gonna try. I'm gonna try and do something that's um, uh, not a lot of detail in the landscape, but you'll see the different gradations of levels and uh, weather, some kind of a maybe fog rolling in or something like that. So uh, we'll see. All right, see you soon. Bye. Okay, I hope this works. My tripod um, isn't working today, so I I have it literally kind of <laughs> taped together so that it would stay focused in this workstation area. So I apologize if it doesn't um, work, but we will cross our fingers. I have good thoughts that it's going to be just fine. So again, I was talking about the fact that I want to create a mood or a moody mood, I should say. So I'm going to come in and, and, and start bringing in a little bit of my blue and black combination and um, just kind of working in a little bit of my Prussian blue and my black. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want the sky to be kind of drab and not in like a real depressing mode, but I do want in this particular scene, I'm bringing it down a little further than I normally do also because I want it to kind of have a blanket feel over this whole area as though, um, as though maybe it's fog kind of rolling in and um, I'm putting in my larger masses now and again the reason why is because I know in my mind what I envisioned was this idea of the landscape kind of coming in and rolling down um, and I'm not sure what this is if it's like a I wouldn't say it's a cliff it's more of like a embankment is what I'm seeing so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just kind of applying that in and this is actually a kind of a um, they call it olive green that's sticking in here. It almost looks like black right now, but once I once I merge my other paint colors in with it, it won't look like that. So, um, and again, this all comes to me um, just through knowing when colors blend together, what they merge to be like. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay, my next stage, um, I'm coming in, and I want to get my fog in here now. So I want to kind of see where I am going with this. And so it's a lack, actually more blue than I thought, even though I mixed in my gray. Do you see, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's a lot more blue than I was envisioning. So I might come in and change it up, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and roll this in since I know that that's kind of the look I was hoping for. And I will come back in and work in some more black into this blue that I had applied. And I'm envisioning like all these like um, scratch, <clears throat> excuse me, scratch marks and and um, just markings all throughout. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play with that idea. And um, see what we can come up with. So again, I don't want the whole thing black and blue as far as you know the overall color. So I'm gonna work in some other things in here. I have a little bit of lavender or violet actually in here. and um, just putting in pieces of color. I'm not sure how it's playing into the scheme of things as far as, I know that uh, the land, how I want it to be, I know I want to come down here and I want different levels. So I do know that part, but as far as what I'm painting, I still don't quite know yet. Um, and here I'm coming back in with some of my olive green and just kind of, again, merging that in. And uh, I'll, I'll manipulate some uh, light color back into that too. In fact, I'll do that now so you can kind of see. So as I'm coming in, um, you're gonna see how it'll end up being kind of a gray green. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Cool. 
So I don't know why this image came to me today. Um, and again, I always like to um, honor those feelings or those visions. And so that's what I'm doing right now. And the weather is changing here. It's starting to feel more like fall, which is nice. And um, that could also, sometimes with the change of weather, my, my thoughts go more towards moody scenes in the winter for sure. Um, you know, some artists will do the opposite. So it's winter, they wanna go more into like bright florals and that kind of thing. Then there's others that are just like me where they m move into that. So when I talked about possibly getting some like scratch work and stuff like that in, this is where I'm just kind of playing with the direction of the paint and just applying the movement of the sky to see how I want this to appear in the landscape. So that's what I'm doing right now. And the reason why I did that, because I wanted to draw your eye back there and now I know where I want to put it. So I'm putting this now back in. And then I want to come back in here and just kind of squish in. And notice I, I what I, I like to do is merge as I go. Some people will mix pre-mix colors. And if you are not knowledgeable in what colors make what, then I would strongly recommend that you do that. If you have a pretty good feel for what colors do as they're being mixed in, then this technique is fine. You know, you, you got to do what works for you. And this, this particular way of working works for me. Um, and if not, that's, that's the beauty of art. Everyone does things differently and this is how I do it. And there's no, you know, there, I, I don't know, maybe there is a right and wrong. I don't believe that. I think that if it works, then, you know, and it's not broke, then don't fix it, right? So this is what I'm doing. And again, I'm just kind of putting in some different levels of land. I really like this combination of color. I don't, I'm not sure why, but I just, I really am drawn to this right now. And I would say it's kind of going into like grays and lavenders with some of that citrus green. I think that's really pretty. And um, so I'm gonna come in and start kind of getting some scratch work in here. And I, you know, I might decide I don't want that, but right now this is what I'm doing. I can put it back in, it's not a big deal. But see how that kind of makes that sky real moody? I like that, it's kind of cool. So some of these I'll merge in with a brush, some I'll do with the back of my, my brush, um, just depend on what I'm working on. Kind of get these in here. And the other thing I, I, I'm drawn to lately is just the idea of just what I'm doing right now, just textural, um, textural work. I think a lot of times as an artist, you're, you're always changing and evolving if you're growing as an artist. And um, one thing I noticed with my work lately is I have gone into more texture and and with that, I think is because I, the knowledge behind it, what, what it's, I'm not afraid. So in other words, some artists, it's afraid, it's scary to them because it's not something they've done before. Um, whereas now I've kind of done a lot of it. So I'm aware of what will happen if I put something, um, merge some colors or, or scrape in some textures. So, um, okay. All right, you guys. Um, I know it's a very short video, but I truly am happy with this. I'm gonna do a few little tweaks here and there, but um, this is this really is kind of what I envisioned. And again, I, I like to stick with that because I'm honoring that and I, I, I feel good about it. And that's the thing. I also believe that if it's something I will hang in my house that I'm proud of, then I know I'm, I'm done. So. Okay, um, thank you again. If you have any questions, please just jot me a little note on either my personal email or you can 
um, make a comment in my YouTube or on my blog. And if there's something I can help you with, let me know. Um, with art, you know, we're all here to help each other. And um, if there is something that I can help you with, I'm more than happy to. Um, the, the main thing is that just practice, practice, practice and believe in what you're doing. And if you don't, then do something else. So you have to have that belief in what you are choosing to paint. And if it doesn't feel comfortable to you or it doesn't feel right, then, then find that next thing. And it should come, not necessarily at first easy to you, eventually it will. Um, and so that's another thing, don't, don't uh, ever give up and um, if that's what you want. But I will tell you this, sometimes I would find myself painting something that wasn't me and it was a struggle. And the struggle came in because it wasn't me. So if you can paint who you are, it's almost like the paintings will be a little easier to do because they are you. So keep that in the back of your mind when you, if you find yourself at all struggling. Um, that's, that's a nice, nice way to, to remember, to honor, honor your style. Okay, you guys have a great, great day, and I look forward to posting this on my, on my um, sites. And like I said, this I'm gonna do some playing with my big, big brush here. And other than that, I think I'm pretty much happy with what I have. So, looking forward to, to seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Okay, I'm super excited. Finished number 24, and I went out and with my intent to paint something that's kind of simple and moody and abstract and nondescript to some degree. So um, you can tell it's a landscape, but it's just a soft flowing landscape and not one particular shrubbery or anything is really standing out. It's just a soft, gentle, um, easygoing painting. And as you saw, my video went fairly easy to me. So my takeaway is follow your heart, pursue your own style, and when you practice it and learn it well, it'll come easy to you too. So um, enjoy your day, and thanks again once again for being here, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.